and not for Calvin. Calvin will have to. First shot up. It is rolls in. One more shot. Castle would ahead. 55-51. 7.44 left to play in, in the game. You see how fast the game can turn around. It, JC has some very potent offense in there. Ferguson with the basketball now. Passes back to Moose Morris. Morris working against Hayes. Morris is knocked out of bounds by Hayes. JC is basketball. Morris will have the ball out of bounds. Triggers it into Hensley. Hensley back to Morris. Morris over to Ferguson. Ferguson looking for the cutting. Inside the shot, knocked away again. Ferguson comes up with it, passes over to Morris. Morris working against Hayes. Talford picks him up, shoots. No good, rebounded by for Morris. Morris setting the offense back up now for GC. Ferguson shoots it. No good, rebounded by Pelton. Pelton, hook shot, good. Oh my, good fake on House. He's got House standing off at best line, turnover. And it's going to be a foul on Mr. Cook. 21. I think, let's say, no one one referee, incorrect signal. But Gate City will get the ball out of bounds. And there you see how fast basketball is a game that can turn around in a split second. Look for Gate City to turn their uh, pressure up uh, one notch. Hensley with the basketball now for the Blue Devils of Gate City. Passes back to Morris. Morris working against Hayes. Morris around the pick by Shell. Shoots. No good. Ball tip. Picked up by Pelton. Pelton shoots. No good. Rebounded by Hensley's foul on House. 34 House. And that may be number five. That may be. Let's see. No one off the bench yet. I think that's just number four. One and one for Gay City. It will be. And Red, you're correct. I've been one and one for Gay City. And this can be crucial. Every free throw will count now. Jason Hensley will be at the line shooting a one and one. Hensley steps at the line. 6.50 remaining in the contest. KC down by three. Shot is good by Hensley. That brings Gates City within two. 6.50 left to play in this contest. And this is going to go down to the wire, no doubt about it. We need to start bringing us the ball. Uh, Clore Septic, if this keeps up, PJ. I tell you what, my mouth is almost totally dry here. And Selton with a monstrous rebound. Hensley going to take for three. It is no good. And Telford just sweeps the boards. He's bringing it down to the 4 on one Oh, and he misses it. How about the Gay City? Gay City. Oh, my. What a great defense by Gay City that time. Shelton just went up and swatted, almost trying to swat good intimidation. This is a gym filled with human flies out there tonight. Morris working against Hayes. Morris, one-on-one. -on -one. Takes it up. In. Again. Oh, my. Kevin Morris returns to the left hand and scoop and good. Cook bringing the ball up for Kesselwood now. Splits the ball. A turnover. Morris going to bring it up over to Hensley. Hensley going to go all the way. Oh, no. Another golf against Hensley. If it could go that way, it should go that way down here on this end too, PJ. I'll tell you what. In all honesty, this has been a very inconsistent game by the referee. It sure has, PJ. I, I'm sorry for the referee, but this has just been very inconsistent. As you see there, wiping the floor. Anytime you play on your home court, you're going to have an advantage anyway, but this is ridiculous to have it going in so inconsistent. We try to be as objective as we can, but sometimes it, it can only go so far. Castlewood bringing up pressure by Gate City, tipped away. Let's see. Taylor recovers. Gate City quickly recovers up. And that's a 10 second call. Great defense by Gate City. Forces a turnover. And Gate City is fired up. Score tied at 56. Hensley now for Gate City, bringing the ball up court. Fish closed. The play's called Morris with a basketball. Puts it up. Ball! Screaming music. Mr. Morris says, take this. Quickly up. House balls around. Look at Hensley. Hensley and Ferguson. Ferguson. Oh, my. And where was the... Oh, and Pendleton in traffic. Oh, my. Oh, my. The referee. Oh. It's getting too, you what. too fast pace for us to keep up with. It. Ferguson was hammered, and we heard no whistle whatsoever. Gate City on top by two. Cook going to bring it up for Castlewood. Gate City playing excellent defense here in those last stretch. They have 
on almost the backcourt. House going in as he lays it in. Hits the floor. No call. Pendleton will bring the ball inbounds now for KC into Morris. The game is knotted at 58. 5.15 remaining in the contest. Morris working against Hayes. Morris picks up his dribble. Passes to Ferguson. Inside to Shelton. Foul there on oh, Calvin Telford. Calvin Telford has picked up number three, I think. Finally, they catch Calvin, Calvin, excuse me, with a hand on Shelton. You cannot push off like that. I tell you what, the presence of Calvin Telford on the floor, I think, has really got the officials looking for Telford also. Anyway, Shelton, the animal, will go to the line. Let's see what he can do with his first foul shots of the year. One and one for Chris Shelton. That's what they think the shot is Shelton up. No good. Pull up with Pendler. Pendler leaving. Castle down the floor. Going to pull it up. You got to guard him. He can pop that three-pointer. House loses it. Hensley. Good hustle by Hensley. Can't save it. Cook going to pull up. And he hits it. Castle went up by two. Hensley with the basketball now for Gate City. Working against Cook. Across the timeline. Hensley. Passes to Ferguson. Ferguson. Takes it up, shoots, short. Rebounded by Pendleton, lost oh. to Calvin. Throws it, Austin Ferguson with the steal to Shelton, to Pendleton. That's like, oh my, oh my. Mr. Referee pulls that one out of his pocket. And Dave Mason quickly on the court to call a timeout. Dave Mason wants to sell his team down, and we're going to take a short break by telling you you are watching Gay City Basketball here on Scott County Cablevision Channel 30. at Bud's Gun and Pawn, you will find just about every kind of a firearm you ever think about. And here's the man himself working on one of those fine guns right now. Of course, Bud buys these guns or takes them on pawn, and he does a great business down here. But guns aren't the whole story. These appliances, just about anything you can think of, VCRs, home entertainment gear, are available at Bud's Gun and Pawn. That's US 23 in Weber City, just south of the River Bridge. Wayne Brabson, Brabson Furniture Company, inviting you to make Brabson Furniture Company your Christmas headquarters for home gifts. You know, home gifts are better because they keep on giving in the years to come. We here at Brabson Furniture Company invite you to come in and make Brabson Furniture Company your home gift headquarters during this Christmas season. of comfortable recliners here at Brabson Furniture Company for that man in your life. For your home gift needs, the place is Brabson Furniture Company in Gate City, where the price is always right. Folks, remember, Weber City Drug is the place to pick up your home health care supplies. Whether it's a home health care need, such as a wheelchair, hospital bed, ostomy supplies, or blood pressure check equipment, you'll find it here at Weber City Drug. Prescriptions are quickly and efficiently filled by Larry Snap, our pharmacist. We hope you will come by and visit us. We hope you enjoy this presentation of Blue Devil Basketball. Remember, Weber City Drug, located next to the Holson Shopping Plaza. you over to Lean Garden for some great refreshments after the game. Great team, great food, great fun. Go Blue Devils, says McDonald's of Lynn Garden Drive in Kingsport. And when you're in a hurry, don't forget our one, two, three meal deal through our drive through Come over. We'll be waiting for you. Back here at Castlewood, where Gate City down by two, 60 58, 429 remaining in the contest. And Castlewood has the ball out of bounds. This has been well with the money. Hensley steals it for Gate City. Arthur Ferguson recovers. Ferguson working the basketball across the timeline. Uses the screen by Shell, passes to Hensley. Into Shell, stolen away by Talford. Hensley comes back up, but it's thrown away there by Penley. Talon Talford going to bring it down court, blows it up. Gets it over to Cook. Cook is inside, has House. House gets it, he loses it. Oh, he travels! Gay City's basketball. Gay City down by two, 4.03 left to play. Score 60 to 58. 
First and inbounds to Hensley. Hensley will be working against Cook, number 10. Hensley across the timeline, 358 remaining in the contest. Passes down here to Morris. Morris against Hayes. Uses a screen from Shelton. Oh, my! And again, the referee pulls one out of the magic hat. Where did that one come from? Mr. Referee. JC needs to start jumping in front of the Castlewood players. Maybe they'll get a charge, too. Calvin Talford just jumped from, look like, 10 feet away. Oh. Calvin's going to bring it down court. Going to try to drive. Rusty Pendleton jerks it away. And Shelton, let's see. Oh, they're going to call it all Shelton. Dave Mason just looks around and says, what is going on? Going to inbound a cook. Swings it out. Almost thrown away by Ferguson. Down in. Talford going to try to take it. It's no good. Shelton with the full two rebound. Ferguson quickly down here to Morris. Morris pulls up for a three. Boom. Bombs! Kevin Morris, they're going to call it two. But he brings Gates and he ties them up. My voice is leaving me, ladies and gentlemen. Off to Talford. Sticks it out. Hey, shot no good. And Shelton, another critical rebound. Morris pulls it up now for Gates C. The score knotted at 60 off. 3.09 remaining in the contest. Ferguson working against number 24, Pillin. Passes down to Hensley inside to Shelton. Shelton, he is fouled by. Oh, by let's see they call it on. Number 22, I believe. Let's see. Let's get the number. Calvin Talford. That is number four. I believe number four. Number four, Calvin Talford. And we have a timeout for Castle. We will be back in two minutes by telling you the score. 60 all with three minutes left in the contest. Capping located on Highway 23 South in Weber City. I have opened a complete alignment center for your car, truck, bus, trailer, or motor home. To the Hunter Wheel Alignment System, the only one within a hundred mile radius. Good, we do it right. Just to get your big rig fixed up in the Mountain Empire. Get have it aligned at Roberts Tire and Recapping in Weber City. Yes, folks, they are the only people in this entire area that have this equipment on hand. Robert Steyer in Weber City. Hello, I'm Bob Gay, Area Officer for Sovereign Bank. At Sovereign, we support school athletic programs. It has an important activity in the physical and educational development of our young people in Scott County. At Sovereign, our motto is, we're right for the times. Let me take this opportunity to invite you to use our new 24-hour cash flow service located at our Weber City office. For the best financial coverage, come see us at Sovereign. We want to be part of your financial team. We hope you enjoy the games. Sovereign is a member of FDIC. Warren Funeral Home. In time of need, it's nice to know there is compassionate service when it is most needed. Before that time comes, ask us about our prearranged funerals, which save family difficult decisions when those decisions would be hardest to make. Our staff is always willing and ready to serve you in your time of need. Warren Funeral Home, your friends in Weber City. Old Man Winter is right on the way. And who comes to the rescue? Adco, of course, with home heating oil delivered by courteous drivers who take great care in their work. And remember, Adco is the people who you will turn to for your quick needs at quick stop markets in Gate City in their locations, both downtown at Midtown and down in Weber City. Remember their deli, Adco and Quick Stop. King Ford Sales wants to make you feel like a king. Yes, you'll feel like a king. The new line of 88s have arrived, and you won't believe the quality or the price. At King Ford, quality is job one. Whether you need a new car or truck, a used vehicle, or just need your current car service, remember, King Ford Sales, Gate City, Virginia. Back here at Castlewood, where with three minutes remaining in the contest, Gates City and the Blue Devils of Castlewood nodded at 60 off. A tremendous ball game. Castlewood down there, one point by nine. Comeback, took the lead by three. Gates City battling back up by tough defense, and we're nodded again at 60. Very much worth the prize of the mission. Chris Shelton is going to be on the line. 
backcourt. Two critical free throws. First one is up and no good. Shelton then must hit these free throws if Jason is going to stay in this ball game. If Shelton makes this, it will put the game at an odd number, 61-60. That way it would seesaw back and forth. Up and good. So Gate City up by one now. Quickly inside to Talvin Talford. Gets it across half court. Good defense. Skipped away. Oh, my. Good job by Jackson Hensley. Just took it away from Calvin. They don't want Calvin handling the basketball. No. And it looks like Gates may have rattled him a little bit on that one. They break the stack. House going to go in. Oh, my. Oh, my. I can't believe they caught a charge on him. that. Oh, and Shelton. Let's see. Is Shelton all right? He gets up slowly. They're calling two shots there, too. Oh, my. What a... Oh, my. Where in the world? This oh. is all pro Castlewood right here. This is totally disgusting. That is the only word to come to mind. Disgusting. Shell foul, Shell fouls out, and Tony Bellamy, the, the new player on the, the uh, team this year, will check in. They are oh. calling that an intentional two-shot foul. I cannot, how can that be intentional? I do not understand. Oh, 62, 61, Castlewood on top. House hasn't been to the line this, this game, I don't believe. A pressure shot for him. It is terrible for fine athletes on either team to be robbed of glory like this, but terrible officiating. Like I said before, we try to be objective, but disgusting is disgusting. House makes the first shot. He'll have one more as Castlewood is jumped in by two. Thanks to the officials. When they start getting two shots. Dave Mason still wants an explanation. Misses the second shot. Tipped out of bounds of a Castlewood ball. JC just needs to settle down. They're in this game, but they're just down by two. They have three-point shooters on the floor. They are by no means out of it. They just have to regain composure. That's it. Castlewood will want to pull this game out. Calvert runs it down. He's out of bounds. He's out of bounds. JC's oh, basketball. Finally. That's the only official that has really given JC a break tonight. Gates is going to have to hang in. They're going to need every break they can get. Hensley bringing the ball up court out for the Blue Devils of Gates City. Passes down to Morris. Morris puts a move on. Shoots. Short. Rebounded there by. Oh, nice shot by Bellamy. Gates City basketball. Hands up play by Tony Bellamy. Oh, good intelligent move. He showed why he is on the varsity. Hensley out to Ferguson. Ferguson passes to Morris. Morris using the screen. Puts up a three. It don't oh. fall. Tipped out by Bellamy. Ferguson shoots. It's good! Oh, my! Arthur Ferguson sends Razzmatazz! Woo! And they were 90 to 63 all again! Arthur Ferguson will be going line to complete the three. He can put Jade City up with this one. We can see the two teams that will be in the state tournament this year. Castlewood in a single A, Gates City in double A. Ferguson at the line, the shot. Bottom! Gates City ahead by one. 2.20 left to play. Ball in bounds to Calvin Talford. Press running. Gets it out to Cook. Cook looks around, holds it up. Got a guard peeling, though. Can't let him have that three. Go away by Hensley. Hensley takes the left foot to Morris. Morris is going to slow it down. Pass back to Hensley. 2.05 remaining in the game. Ferguson back to Hensley. Two minutes now left in the contest. To Morris. Morris peels the guns. Had a position on Talford. Back to Morris. Morris shoots. Bellamy shoots. It's oh, all. Oh, oh. Tony Bellamy with a contribution out the bench. Quickly up court. Up court to Hayes. Bellamy still the way. Up court to Hensley. Hensley. Yeah. Tony Bellamy. What a job. He Tony has Bellamy is turning around. Timeout, Castlewood. Tony Bellamy. What he has earned. Respect of everyone. And we're going to give you a shot of the Gay City fans who are on their feet. We're going to take a timeout by telling you the score. Gay City 68, Castlewood 63. Total for the year, 3-0 points.
gun and pawn, you will find just about every kind of a firearm you'd ever think about. And here's the man himself working on one of those fine guns right now. Of course, Bud buys these guns or takes them on pawn, and he does a great business down here. But guns aren't the whole story. These appliances, just about anything you can think of, VCRs, home entertainment gear, are available at Bud's Gun and Pawn. That's US 23 in Weber City, just south of the River Bridge. Wayne Brabson, Brabson Furniture Company, inviting you to make Brabson Furniture Company your Christmas headquarters for home gifts. You know, home gifts are better because they keep on giving in the years to come. We here at Brabson Furniture Company invite you to come in and make Brabson Furniture Company your home gift headquarters during this Christmas selection of comfortable recliners here at Brabson Furniture Company for that man in your life. For your home gift needs, the place is Brabson Furniture Company in Gate City, where the price is always right. Folks, remember, Weber City Drug is the place to pick up your home health care supplies. Whether it's a home health care need, such as a wheelchair, hospital bed, ostomy supplies, or blood pressure check equipment, you'll find it here at Weber City Drug. Prescriptions are quickly and efficiently filled by Larry Snap, our pharmacist. We hope you will come by and visit us. We hope you enjoy this presentation of Blue Devil Basketball. Remember, Weber City Drug, located next to the Holson Shopping Plaza. McDonald's invites you over to Lean Garden for some great refreshments after the game. Great team, great food, great fun. Go Blue Devils, says McDonald's of Lynn Garden Drive in Kingsport. And when you're in a hurry, don't forget our one, two, three meal deal through our drive-thru. Come over. We'll be waiting for you. here at a rocking Castlewood Gymnasium, Gay City with a five-point lead, 68-63. Tony Bellamy has to be the story of the game, coming off the bench for Sheldon, who fouled out and has turned his team around. He has played like a Superman coming in. Quickly, the game starts. Cook brings it up court. Over to Calvin Talford. Oh, he is fouled by Pendleton, and they're going to give the basket to him. Pelton did everything he could do. He had his head on the basketball, but Calvin used that superior strength he has and put it in for two. You are seeing why Calvin Talford is a major college prospect. We are not talking junior college or local college. We are talking Georgetown. He could go to North Carolina or any place that he wanted to. Critical foul shot. Calvin Talford to put the three. He hits it. Castlewood down by two. A minute 28 left to play. And Castlewood will pressure Ferguson, bringing the basketball court for Gay City. Got the mayor of Penland, can City for three for Castlewood. Ferguson pulls up, passes to Morris. Morris shoots. Pelton rebounds, puts it back up. No good, rebounded by number 34, House. Stole away. Ashley steals it, pulls it up. Morris saves it. Morris back out to Hensley. One off three remaining in the game. Hensley puts a move on. Passes off to Bellamy. Bellamy shoots. Go! Thanks, Mr. Calford. Tony Bellamy says, let him attack. Stole away there by Hensley. Hensley. Stays in to Bellamy. Bellamy. Two more. Bellamy. 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 Gives the number one side. Gates in it. And Gates in basketball. Castleway throws it out of bounds. Castleway fans are starting out of their mind. Timeout on the floor. There it is, timeout. We're going to keep it right here. Woo! Oh, what can you say? Tony Bellamy has just come in, and he has done everything and more. I think if you could give an MVP award, Tony Bellamy came in, and he gave the Devils a the boost. And he, he got Gate City up by six. 38 seconds left. Score 72 to 66. Coach Colbro coming up here has got to enjoy this game as well as all the crowd from Gay City who come to Castlewood tonight. Let me tell you, no matter who wins this game, neither team should hang its head. 
What a ball game. Both teams are highly ranked, and they are going to go far this season, no doubt about it. This game is not over yet. By no means, we've got David Finley, who can shoot a three-pointer, but no problem at all. Gacy will have the ball out of bounds. 38 seconds remain. See ball comes in to Hensley. See if they make it go for the, the uh, four-corners type game. Hensley, across the timeline, passes down to Pendleton. Back out to Hensley. Hensley, work gets Cook. Passes to Morris, 25 seconds remaining. Morris through Ferguson. Ferguson, nice ball handling over to Morris. Morris to Bellamy. Four corners, Gacy gonna run it out. They're gonna call a foul right here. I believe, let's see who was up. Maybe on Cal Calford, let's see. No. 34, 34. fouls. Let me tell you what, Tony Bellamy has got that adrenaline pump. Oh. He's willing to score. I believe when he came off that bench, he could have flown in there. My goodness. Tony Bellamy has proven himself to be one of the best six men I have ever seen. At the he bench. may have earned himself a six-man oh. spot on this team. Bellamy at the line. The shot is up. And good. Oh, one more. And Tony Bellamy says, yeah. Whoa. Gate City ahead. Seven points. Okay, Castlewood must come down and get two three-pointers, at least three to win it in 16 seconds. Misses. Okay, house down. Gives it to Penland. Penland going to come down top of the circle. Three, up and go. Ten seconds. And we have a timeout. And while we have timeout on the floor, we want to take a two-minute break. And we will return here at Castlewood with nine seconds left to play. Total for the month, 200 of an inch. at Bud's Gun and Pawn, you will find just about every kind of a firearm you ever think about. And here's the man himself working on one of those fine guns right now. Of course, Bud buys these guns or takes them on pawn, and he does a great business down here. But guns aren't the whole story. These appliances, just about anything you can think of, VCRs, home entertainment gear, are available at Bud's Gun and Pawn. That's US 23 in Weber City, just south of the River Bridge. Wayne Brabson, Brabson Furniture Company, inviting you to make Brabson Furniture Company your Christmas headquarters for home gifts. You know, home gifts are better because they keep on giving in the years to come. We here at Brabson Furniture Company invite you to come in and make Brabson Furniture Company your home gift headquarters during this Christmas season. Selection of comfortable recliners here at Brabson Furniture Company for that man in your life. For your home gift needs, the place is Brabson Furniture Company in Gate City, where the price is always right. Folks, we're back here at Castlewood. We want to apologize for the little accident we had there with the camera. It's so exciting here, the camera can't even take the excitement. We want to apologize to you for that inconvenience, but we're back here to action. Nine seconds remain. Pendleton, trying to get it in. Finds number 32, Hensley. Hensley, doing a good job, tripped up by Talford. Talford is called for the foul. That is it for Mr. Talford, I think. Let's see. That's five on That's Calvin. Five. Goodbye, Mr. Talford. And not this time. We'll see him again down at Gate City. That's right. But in all due respect, Calvin Talford played an awesome game. He for really did. Excellent player for Castlewood. He, I see now why he is one of the best players in the game. Hensley will be at the line shooting a one and one. All he needs to do here is sink one of two, and then Gate City will have the game. Interesting point. Calvin Talford held the two dunks. Six, five, and it's stolen by Ferguson. And we're going to have Quickly. another foul. And they're going to know it's going to be caught out of bounds. Out of bounds with two seconds left. All Gates City is though is throwing in. So Gates City, if all things hold up, will come away from here with a victory. Bob comes in to Bellamy. Bellamy, he's fouled. He's going to have some shots. That's, say no. That's it. So. Oh, what a game. Great. Close to Castle. Remember, Twin Springs, Friday night, Gate City, JB at 630. Come out, support the Blue Devils. The final score here, 73-69. Gate City going on with a victory. For Scott Gatty, Cable Vision, Channel 30, Ivan Sanders, PJ Grinsdale, Lisa Gimwater, Melissa Blevins, and Gary Wallen saying good night. <laughs>